hello everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to learn how to retrieve and display orders from shopify using the graphql api in node.js so let's get started before we dive into the code make sure you have installed node.js and the shopify api node module if you haven't done that yet I will show you how you can do that. So first, let's set up our project. Open your terminal and create a new directory for your project. Type mkdir Shopify Graph QL Retrieve Orders in my case, I will name it Shopify GraphQL Retrieve Orders. You can name it anything. Then I need to jump into that folder. So I will type CD Shopify and hit Tab key. So that will complete the path of the folder. Then I will hit Enter. Now. Inside my folder, I will type npm init space minus y. It will create package.json file into my folder so I can install the required modules. Let me clear my screen first. So I'll type npm install Shopify API dash node module as well as we need dot env module so it will install two modules one is shopify api node module the other one is dot env i will hit enter and it will start installing these packages into my application once these packages are installed we need to open this directory into the code editor so i will type code dot and it will open visual studio code so now i am on the root of my directory i will create a new file here dot env in this file i will save my credentials and in my case, I have a Shopify access token. This is my access token and this is my store URL. Please make sure you are not going to share these credentials with anyone. I am using these credentials for only demo purpose. I will delete them once after this video. So next file I'm going to create is fetch retrieve orders orders.js and I will now I will write the code to call these modules so let me copy and paste the first line require.env.config this is for uh, calling the .env module and the second one is const shopify is equal to require shopify api node is for the shopify api module so next we will create the instance of the shopify let me copy and paste const shopify is equal to new shopify object and here <coughs> In that instance, we have a shop name and access token. Process.env shop underscore Shopify underscore score, which is coming from .env file, and it will grab the store URL. And uh, process.env dot Shopify access token, this will grab the access token from my .env file. Next. I will write a function const retrieve orders and 
the trave orders and that is a, a sync function the input is equal to over here and here we will have a try catch block in the catch block we will catch the error and I will type console.error console error retrieving orders and I will pass the error and in the try block I will have const uh, response await shopify.graphql function and here I will pass my query to retrieve the orders and once I have those orders I will console.logname and json.stringify the response so we can see that response in the console over here in the terminal so let me grab the query and uh, here this is my query const variable uh, query here we have a template string and then curly braces then orders and we will fetch the first five orders and then inside that we have edges node and then we have order id name of the order email and then total price set inside price set we have a shop money amount and currency code and line item we will fetch the first five item if any order have multiple line items so we'll fetch those items then edges node and title of the line item quantity and the price and the amount etc so, so at the end we will call this function retrieve orders save this file open the terminal and this is my terminal and I will type let me just move the terminal to the right side so we can see it better let me just copy and paste the file name so I'll type node retrieve order dot js and hit enter and as you can see we have the orders data we have orders edges and the node this is the order order id order name email total price set and this is the price and the currency code and the line item detail so that's it you have learned how to retrieve and display orders from your shopify using the graphql api in node.js if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials if you need further assistance or have any question, feel, feel free to contact me on Fiverr or Upwork. I offer professional help and can assist you with your Shopify projects. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.